Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the Word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day, presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power topic today is Seven Weapons of the Spirit, Part 7. The Helmet of Salvation. And take the helmet of salvation. Ephesians 6 17a. The helmet of salvation is a protective as well as a defensive weapon of the spirit. This spiritual weapon, symbolized by the helmet of the Roman soldier that served as protection for the head, is quite another very vital piece of the armor of God. As many would attack the head just to kill the soldier, and any attack to the head could lead to instant death. In our scriptural text today, Paul is alluding or making reference to Isaiah 59 verse 17 which says, For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head, and he put on the garment of vengeance for clothing and clad with zeal as a cloak. This divine warrior models for the Christian soldier by putting on the breastplate of righteousness and the helmet of salvation. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 8, Paul calls this helmet the hope of salvation. In other words, the Christian should constantly have the hope of salvation. But how does the Christian soldier make sure that his or her hope of salvation is sure. Is it possible for the warrior of the cross to carelessly take off his or her helmet of salvation at any time? Is it possible to have a false hope of salvation? The answer to the last two questions is yes. People lose salvation. There is no one saved, always saved. Jesus told us that there will be Christians at the end of time who will think they are saved, but sadly, they are not. They profess to have faith in Jesus and to believe the gospel, but Somehow, somewhere, they fail to do God's will. Their faith is a dead one because they have bought into the lie of the devil. They bought into the lie of the devil that faith and grace releases the Christian from keeping all the commandments of God. Here's how Jesus puts it. In Matthew 7, 21 to 23, quote, Not everyone that saith or professes unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess to them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that walk iniquity. Unquote. Christ is very clear here. These Christians were committing sins. That is, walking of iniquity while they were professing faith in Christ. False miracles even attended their ministries, but they had no relationship with Christ. That's why he says he doesn't know them. 
in order to constantly have the hope of salvation, you must be like the saints in Revelation chapter 14 verse 12 who have the faith of Jesus and also keep the commandments of God because you love Christ. You know, the faith of Jesus actually makes us keep the commandment of God. To have the faith of Jesus is to live like Jesus. May your hope of salvation never be blighted by any careless putting off of the helmet of salvation. And may you be empowered to live above all the evil machinations of Satan. In Jesus' name, Amen.